Hello everyone, this is Anya Dekozos. Welcome back. So today I am super extra excited. Um, although, am I not excited for every video that I make? I am, just because I share with you guys all the things that make me happy. So of course, I'm gonna be excited in every single video. <laughs> so today we have BoxyCharm. But today is the first month that I not only get, get the base box, for BoxyCharm but also the premium box so I'm super excited to share both the boxes with you and as you watch and as I show you all the products that came in the boxes I will show you me using them so I actually used uh, all except for just one product as I was getting ready for this video so uh, enjoy watching and let's get right to it so we are going to start with the base box first so let's open it up Ta -da! The theme is Mother Nature. I love all the flowers that are on there and then the back says all the products that are in the box. Let's move this away and start with the first one. So this thing is from Tarte and it is their Micellar Magic uh, High Performance Naturals Makeup Remover and Cleanser. Uh, first of all, how cute is this bottle? And what I love the most about this is that once you open it up, uh, all you have to do is place a cotton pad on top of this and you just press it down and the product uh, comes out this way. So you don't have to spray, you don't have to pick it up, tilt it, none of that stuff. You just simply push down on it. I love these kinds of dispensers. Uh, and as you'll see in the video right now, I loved using this. So I have the micellar water on uh, a nice little cotton pad. And it says it's a cleanser and a makeup remover. So it feels really good on the skin. But it just so happens that I have mascara on my eyes. So we'll see how it removes that. It did remove the eyebrow uh, gel and it clearly is removing the mascara as well. So it removed all the makeup and it feels really really good on the skin so I'm really happy with this one. Second up is from Elemis and these are the dynamic resurfacing facial pads. And I just want to show you what these look like although you will see me using those. Here they are. These uh, pads are really, really thin, just like I expected, and they smell delicious. They really do. So let's see how those work. So as you can see, my face turned red a little bit. I do feel a little bit of a tingling, slightly burning sensation, but it is quite normal for a lot of the products on my skin, but it's not, it doesn't seem like it's not good for my skin because it's going away and it, it, it actually feels kind of nice. So awesome stuff. I really like it and it, it's kind of a nice and easy, you know, way to resurface your skin without taking any scrubs and washing anything off so very nice and convenient I think I'm really going to enjoy using these pads uh, for just the days when I really don't have the time to uh, do a lot on my skin but uh, it, I still need to take care of it so this is a, just a great great option and the reason uh, this was actually a customization item and the reason I didn't pick the other one which was the Glam Glow um, facial mask I forget what it's called exactly but uh, I actually purchased it as part of the add-on sale so I already have it that's why I decided to go with the Elemis this time and this is their conceal cover and correct crayon I actually had um, a lip color from Tristique 
which basically came in the same uh, form just like a pencil and then you open it and you have the color right there I do love that it just like snaps on it's got a magnet in it so that's pretty nifty and um, let's see how that worked so before going in with my foundation I decided to try this concealer stick uh, crayon from Tristique and I'm just going to try it on some of my blemishes and see if it cancels some of the redness out and I'm just going to blend these out with a beauty sponge I'm going to try to tap this one out with my toe instead of the sponge see if it sticks a little better it did help it just a little bit but the red is still there obviously so I'm gonna go in with foundation next Next up is the one product that I did not use on my face today and it's from Jouer, I think um, and it's a high pigment lip gloss and I really really like the formula of this I will do a little swatch for you I don't think that this color is very springy and so that's the only reason why I didn't use it on my lips today because there was a second color that came in the box and I thought this one matched a little better but so here's what this color looked like I mean it's glossy it goes on very smoothly it looks really really good like I said I wish it was a different color I was really hoping for a more bright and uh, springy summery um, color sort of a happy one this is more of a fall color if you ask me but it's all right I guess it'll just wait for the fall for me to use it and now for the color that actually is on my lips right now as you can see it's uh, sort of a neutral pinkish I love this color it went on really really nice it feels really nice on the lips it's from appeal it's their ultra cream liquid lipstick and you can see me using that right here Now just really quick to recap the prices which I keep forgetting uh, to mention the resurfacing facial pads from Elemis were $59 the high pigment lip gloss from Jouer uh, was $17 then the Tristique cover concealer crayon is $24 Appeal Cosmetics Ultra Cream Li Liquid Lipstick uh, is $21 and the Tarte micellar magic makeup remover and cleanser is 18 and for the grand total I'm gonna put that on the screen now moving on to the premium box so this box is actually quite larger than the first one although when I first picked it up um, I thought there was a mistake or something because it literally felt empty it's a big box as you can see there's not too many products that fill the box uh, the products are small and light so I was like hmm did they forget to put my stuff in there but no the stuff came in the box and let's see what's inside so of course it's the same theme since it's the same box so the card pretty much looks the same I will try to remember to give you the prices as I go along <laughs> this time so let's check it out this little guy right here I'll tell you how cute this is but this is also from Tarte it's their Sugar Rush Best Bud Lip Butter Balm 
and it retails for twelve dollars and it's it's in the color peony i guess that's the color first of all <clears throat> Even the box is adorable, okay? The pink with the little tiny flowers. How cute is that? And then the product itself. That little rose on top is just adorable. It's adorable. You open it up. Ah! And this is kind of the color that's in here. It doesn't give you much of a tint, but it does uh, moisturize very nicely. Next up, we have this uh, Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. I do like how compact this is. It's also not too thick, so uh, very travel friendly. And I did only use, see if I can open this. I did only use these three shadows on my eyes today, and I literally cannot open this. Okay, there you go. So here you go and of course I will show you how they apply it on the eyes and let me just say that um, these are really pigmented like they went on perfectly I absolutely love this formula it it just applied amazingly so this is cute I I do know that it comes in different colors so you know, if you want to get a few of those and have them for when you travel, I think that's just an amazing option. And those retail for $23. And we're going to start with the lightest shade sort of in the crease and then pop the sparkly pink in the on the lid and then do the dark brown on the outer corner. Let's see how they work. Now I'm going to use the three shades on the lower lid and then the lightest shade in the inner corner. Next up is an eyeliner from Kat Von D. It's a long wear matte eyeliner and it's blue this is what it looks like the packaging i think it's cute and it retails for twenty dollars and you can see how that applied on the eyes here i'm honestly not sure how this blue eyeliner is going to work with this look but i did want to try everything that came in the box so here goes nothing. I totally forgot that you were supposed to shake this before using it, so let's see if that made any difference. So there is a definite um, change in color. It is a little more intense and not as watery. It actually was quite liquidy if you don't shake it. So don't forget to shake. So I did find that I had to re-dip uh, the thing into the container quite a few times just to get one line on one eye. 
Um, and I did, of course, manage to get some of the eyeliner on my eyelashes on the outside. But that's fine because we're just going to put mascara over that. So it doesn't matter. But it is uh, matte. It is blue. So I guess it does what it's supposed to. Next, to go along with the eyeliner and the rest of the eye products, we have a mascara from Kevin Aquan. I've watched quite a few videos, so hopefully I'm pronouncing everything correctly. Uh, I really, really do hope so because I'm really trying really hard. And so I can skip all the captions on the screen. Um, but this is uh, the Expert Mascara. And this retails for $29. And I do want to show you the packaging. So this is the packaging, nice and gold, very um, kind of simple. And I'll show you the brush and the way it applies in the video here. So here is the brush on the mascara. It looks quite interesting. It's curved as you can see. And let's see how it works. So after the first coat of the mascara, um, I find that you can't see it very much, not yet. Uh, I'm going to turn the brush around and see if the other way puts a little more mascara on my eyelashes. As you can see, there is quite a large difference. Uh, I find that doing it this way works a lot better, although maybe the other side separates them better. I'm not sure, but the second coat definitely did, did make a difference and I'm going to try and put a third coat on that. And this is what three coats of the mascara look like. Next is Milk Makeup and it retails for $15 and what it is is a glow oil lip and cheek thing. So you can apply it as a blush or you can apply it on your lips. And let me tell you when I opened this, I was like, that's gorgeous. So I decided to apply it on the cheeks. And I could not figure out how to open it at first. I was like, but you just untwist it. Look how cute this is. Is that adorable or what? So instead of trying to explain how I did this, you can just watch it. <laughs> We're going to use this milk makeup um, thing on my cheeks as a blush and I decided because the color is very nice I'm going to just dab it onto my cheeks instead of using a brush like I've seen some people do and then I'll just blend it out with the beauty sponge. And for the last product for those two boxes for this month, we have the Baddington brush set. It's two brushes and I think this is the product I like maybe the most out of the whole box to be honest with you. And let me just, uh, before I open them and show them to you, they retail for $90. Two brushes. That means one brush is about $45. Unless there's a little difference because they're not the same brushes. So one might, might be more, one might be less. And okay, so one of them is a powder brush. The other one is a contour foundation brush. I did not use them for what it says, but look at those. Here they are. This one's more fluffy. They are just simple gold. They do feel pretty hefty. They're not like super light. Uh, but the softness, you'll hear me saying about the, how soft they are a few more times in this video. But they are so soft. And I also really like their shape and the size and, and all of that. And I could just go on and on and on about these. So I'm going to stop here and just let you see how I use them.
So for foundation, I decided to use this smaller brush, which by the way, feels absolutely so soft. I just wanted to use it for something that is going to touch my face the most. So just getting some foundation off the top of my foot and I'm just going to blend this out. So it's actually looking pretty good. It felt so good on my skin. But as usual, uh, I will go in and blend it out with a beauty sponge. But the brush works amazing. I think it's absolutely worth the money. Not that I would spend that much money on two brushes. But I am so happy I got them. And to apply my setting powder, I'm going to use this fluffy brush. I, I'm loving these brushes. Really, they're so so soft and so they feel just amazing on the skin okay you guys that's it two boxes today i was so thrilled to open them I was so thrilled to try everything on so that I can show you how they work but also so I can tell you that I am extremely happy and satisfied with both of the boxes I cannot wait for next month and a little spoiler alert next month I believe I hope I'm going to get the Lux box also which is like I think it comes once every season and I'm super excited of what's gonna come in this one but I just I love trying new things I love um, you know I love subscription boxes have I said this before like a lot of these things I would not have purchased if I had to pay full price for them so I am just a number one fan of subscription boxes I absolutely love them I think they are so worth it and I just I love it it, it's like the one thing every month that I look forward to is getting my subscription boxes. Um, so, yay! I'm so glad you were able to join for this video. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!